Cynthia from KiwiCo, and we are here in beautiful Redwood City. And today we're gonna host our very own delivery robot race. In this race, we have three contenders. One, an actual autonomous delivery robot. Two, our very own KiwiCo delivery robot. And three, a real person. Their goal is to deliver a pizza from point A to point B, and the shortest time wins. They will have to navigate a really windy neighborhood, and there are multiple paths to take. And to make it even more interesting, we might have set up a few obstacles along the way. Let's go ahead and meet our first contestant, Sawyer. Hello. What sort of skills do you bring to this competition? Let's see, what do I bring to the competition? I'm really good at puzzles. I'm probably faster on foot than these little robots. That's my guess. All right, all right. And I really love pizza. Welcome to the competition. And the only thing you get is a map. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm not very good at maps. <laughs> Can I use, like, some Siri or something to no. take me there? <laughs> Unfortunately. All right. Thank you, I'm ready. All right, our next contestant is our Kiko delivery bot with our fearless driver, Drew. How do you feel about your chances? I think I have pretty good chances with this thing. This delivery bot, I've seen it go in a straight line. It can also maneuver pretty well, it can spin in place. I think that that tank-like thread is gonna come in handy. All right, MJ, are you ready? I think the robot is. All right, how do you think you're gonna do? We're about to find out. Our robot is an autonomous sidewalk delivery robot. And autonomous basically means the robot's independent. Okay, let's get the pizza, pizza. in. Very important. You might be wondering yeah. how each contestant is getting from point A to point B. Well, Sawyer is getting a paper map, Drew's getting a phone, and all serve needs is an address. Each contestant is set up with the same challenge. They will run into the same obstacles, but they will each race independently to make sure they don't influence each other. We'll compare times at the end. I'm gonna count, readying. In three, two, one, go! Yes! I'll see you at the finish line! I expect that pizza! Both bots are going in the same direction. Sawyer, oh, Sawyer is going in the wrong direction. Um, I think I'm gonna go this way. Drew and the bot are ready to go. The world out there is pretty big. Delivery bot, delivery bot, no! Oh, the Kiwiko bot is finding these real-world outdoor conditions pretty challenging. One really hard challenge for our robots is how surprising and unpredictable Ooh. the sidewalks are. Oh, the Surf robot is coming across our first obstacle, a dog. Surfbot seems unfazed by the dog. Probably gets that a lot. Okay, and there he goes. Let's see, it should be coming up on a turn about now. Nice, he's got it. Oh, oh, no, we're, oh, okay, we got an obstacle. The dog wants the pizza. Uh, I, I honestly thought that that dog was just going to take the pizza and run, so I'm glad that that didn't happen. All right, this is looking. Not super familiar, but something is not right. Sawyer! Sawyer! Sawyer, wait, 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 wait. I have to, I actually have to give you a 10 second penalty oh, to help, to help you out. You're going the wrong way. No. <laughs> yeah. well, we'll go back. How far, all the way back there? Yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna go the wrong way, I'm gonna do it fast, so. You actually went really far. I know. <laughs> Serve is about to hit a construction zone. It's adapting on the fly, in real time. We have sensors on the robot that help it understand where it's in the world, where it's going. You can see that with our LiDAR. It really helps it understand the world in 3D. We've got cameras all around the robot, so oh. it understands 360, what's in front of it, behind it, next to it. It does have GPS as well, so it really understands its place in the world. Can I pet your dog? Hi, oh my God, you're so cute. Do you want a little bit of pizza? Should I give you a little bit of pizza? Just a little bit? Here you go. Good girl. Sawyer really loves the dog. I think if Sawyer wants to keep in the race, she's got to keep moving. Let's see how the delivery bot and Drew are doing now.
It says danger construction area. Keep out. They're taking the same detour as serve. Okay, Sawyer is really booking it. She's moving fast here. Okay, I see cones. No way, no way. Construction area, keep out. Oh my god, I'm not turning back again. Shoot, all right, this is the lake, then I have to go all the way around it. I guess we're backtracking. Sawyer now has to walk around the lake. That's a quarter mile added to her distance. Really hoping to see a turn up here, otherwise I'm definitely going the wrong way again. It's gonna be a long day, delivery bot. It's gonna be a long day. Let's go pick up the pace. Pick up the pace, delivery bot. Ah! Don't get stuck, though. <gasps> oh my god. Looks like Sawyer has now caught up. Nice work. <gasps> Woo! Let's do this! Okay, final time, 28, 48, 130. That's awesome. What? Go by, go by. And crossing the finish line first, it's serve. Now that we've got a winner, who's gonna be second? Woo, let's go. All right, I made it. All right, Sawyer, you wanna know your final time? I'm ready to know. 34 minutes, 44 seconds. Let's pretty go, good. that's pretty yeah, awesome. That's really yeah, good. that was uphill, downhill. <laughs> I think I crushed that, wow. so. This is dog hair free. Mine looks good. Yeah, looks good. All, All right. right. Cheers. Cheers. There's one contestant who's still racing. Let's go check in on them. Let's go. Delivery bot. He's delivering pizza today. He's delivery bot. Delivering pizza day. They said he couldn't do it. They said it couldn't be done. But little delivery bot. Who could? Whoa! Whoa! All right, your time. Are you ready for your time? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> it is 44.25. 44.25. Yeah, yeah. Not that bad. Not that bad. Not that bad. We Not did that it. Bad. Yeah. We did yeah. it. That, at the end of the day, that's what counts. Exactly. The memories we make along the way. Exactly. <laughs> Our Kibiko bot put in a valiant effort here, especially considering it was designed for indoor conditions. But this race really came down to human versus autonomous robot. While Sawyer moved faster on her feet and put her complex problem-solving skills to work, she wasn't able to quite overcome the challenges she had with her paper map at the start of the race. It was pretty amazing to see Serve use its advanced technology to make its way through the course independently and win the day. Thanks for watching, everyone. Check out more of our awesome videos here, and don't forget to subscribe for more fun content. Delivery bot, delivery bot, delivering tiny pizzas.